Hi everyone, this is Bic Benedict. We're playing Ghost Recon Future Soldier here. And uh, I'm having to redo this because I had some feedback whine in my... Feedback whine, excuse me, in my uh, audio commentary last time. And there's nothing worse than that when you're trying to listen to something. Okay, so we're deploying a, dro a drone here. So uh, manipulate it with the L1, R1 button. And be very careful here because if you're seen, if the drone gets spotted then you have to re-watch re that cutscene again, so it's really irritating, but all you have to do is very carefully creep the drone, um, just very, move, move it very cautiously up to the to the, uh, to the the little lip of that uh, hole in the ceiling, and then what you need to do after that is just make sure that the targets have diamonds over them. Make sure you only hit the standing targets in this room, not the guy at the desk. He's the, the guy that's going to tell us where the CI... CI I, however you say that CIA agent is, and um, sorry if I, my voice is a little off. I have some allergies, and uh, but I've got my Allegra, so I'm taking that. Uh, I was taking something that had a decongestant, and it was keeping me up because it had pseudoephedrine in it. But uh, I got wise to that. I didn't realize it. But here it's it says that watch out for the civilians. So that's not a concern for me because I'm not. Trying to, I'm not trying to get like the best score possible, so I I try not to hit them. But if if I do hit them, then it's not like I restart or anything. But yeah, that feedback whine is really irritating, and there's nothing really worse than that ex except to, except if you get a really good recording, and and then you realize that the recording wasn't even on when you're doing it. So <laughs> there's nothing worse than that either. And I I don't know who can empathize more, but other YouTube commentators. But uh, this chapter is the the Noble Tempest chapter, and it's not too bad. So we just need to push forward here, take cover. Uh, what this game is is it's a third-person cover squad-based cover-based shooter, and it has the see the the augmented reality features that it has the, the little targets there. I was watching. Um, some of the mechanics videos um, about this game and w what we're dealing with is cover that you're um, you're manipulating with the I think you, with the right analog stick when you're looking to, to move the cover um, and then you're sliding into cover via the X button and then you're snapping into cover because there there may be quite a, a lot of long periods in this chapter and in this you know, walkthrough where I'm I'm just manipulate or excuse me um, let me hold that thought you see the, the the blue bar here make sure that's beneath these targets because I was struggling really indefatigably over here before this thing even recognized that I was using it but uh, make sure everybody's I think that's another uh, issue about the soldiers just getting into position I think it's for realism, not for loading. But there, there may come times in this guide when I don't really have too much to talk about, and I always feel ashamed of myself if I'm talking too far off topic, like in the last video. I, I apologize if if that happened. Um, so I've been trying to find out more information about this game that I could hopefully pass on to you guys during the the periods when, for instance, in this chapter we're just walking around with the CIA, CIA agent. Um, this part right here, it doesn't matter if you're seen. In fact, um, I'm going to be seen quite a lot, but as long as it doesn't directly affect the, the, the mission, I, I just roll with it. So I'm going to mark a couple of targets here. There's target one, target two is waiting, pull up target three, and then I think target three went down here. Let's see. No, it went, it went a good, it went well. And then target four... Okay, I don't know what happened right there. It says clear the pitch. I got a nice headshot there. That, that's something I do know, but I think okay. So there's only four squad mates on our team. So I don't think that it's realistically possible to target everybody and then you know just kind of step back from the situation and then command that everyone shoots everybody because then you wouldn't be participating in it. If you're shooting four enemies, then you're a participant in the in the shot. But if there's only three enemies you're marking up, 
then that means that you can actually step back from the situation and participate in it. Or excuse me, not 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 participate, but command it. Sorry about that mistake. Okay, so what happened for me in one of these takes was two of my men got down uh, in down but not out status, where they're they had a little plus mark over their bodies, meaning they're injured. So I had to go inject them with morphine, just like you have to do in spec ops the line. And um, the, I had no issues with doing it. It's really good. Um, Unlike Spec Ops a lot, and that game is, I, I really enjoyed playing, I, I like that game, I mean, I like Nolan North, I like third person shooters, I like cover based shooters, I like dying really quickly, and, and getting better as a player, but uh, that game, it just, it's broken, about the uh, recovering your enemies and having them fall every second. Something I don't like about, the, some of the way this, ways this game behaves and marks checkpoints here, is can be demonstrated right here, although you can't see it because I don't restart, but if you ever die on the on rails section that's coming up, and it's quite easy to die, because you do get shot up really quickly in this game, even though I, I may have not may may not have alluded to that so much in previous videos, but it's you could really get shot up. I don't know, I think it's because we're not really in cover here. But every time you die here, you've got to start from the beginning of opening that, that cargo container. But, so to take out the, the guys that come off the chopper there from the cable and also I think it would be more suitable to take out the guys on the ground first because the other guys are dropping into the scene like these guys here. They're, they're not really a threat at the moment but these guys who are over there right directly in front of me are entrenched and they're shooting at me so it's not like they're in an animation where they're kind of rolling and trying to get into position here so we still don't have a checkpoint so just be very careful here and uh, it is I guess what you'd say on rails because you can't it moves where it's gonna move and that's what I'm saying all you need all you have to do is I mean all you're doing is shooting and right here you want to move uh, see how it says control it with the right analog stick so just have this even though it shakes and wobbles, you just need to have the circle over the orange pegs on that marker board right there. And you'll have a checkpoint in store for yourself. And even though I may have said that this game doesn't, you know, look as good as it possibly could on the PC, that's not really a fault of the game as much as it is the the obsolete I mean they're not really I mean these machines that we're playing these games on the 360 and the PS3 they're not, they're not obsolete they're not going to be obsolete for a long time but they're nearing the end of their their cycles and we're having the PS4 come soon and um they they look as good as I mean they look really good that's what I'm trying to say and um, uh, a lot of uh, I mean I was reading on uh, Wikipedia or not yeah, Wikipedia, I think, and some other articles online, and they they, they put a lot of effort into the animations and having them look um, just as good and detailed as some of the, the CGI parts in the game, the the cutscenes, the interactive cutscenes, and the the ones that you can't interact with. But it's, I think it's also a problem of 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 me playing The Last of Us too recently and. And having really no issues with loading, which is a problem in this game, big time problem. Um, so I think one of my other subscribers, or somebody who may me not be a subscriber, he said that the load times are an issue on the 360 too. So it's it's loading issues on both platforms. So it's a problem. But also playing a game as beautiful as The Last of Us too. But even with The Last of Us, as good as it looks, I mean, you could still like your eyes still wish for even better stuff and I think we'll see that in these new new systems but um, anyway a little off topic there but you see like in this area all we're doing is running around uh, escorting the CIA agent over here to get extracted over in this area coming up and I, I really have to get into the mindset to play a game like this because I heard I've heard several people in comments, not on my videos, but you know, jackass trolls, 
who were saying that this is a some kind of an, a game imitating Call of Duty first person shooting and that's that is so arrogant to say something or not not ignorant to say something like that because I don't think this game is even striving to be like to to be like that game and I I'm not even a, an authority on it because I I never play Call of Duty I've never played it and I never will play it and it it's just because like I said I don't I don't play first person shooters I do not play them when I play a game I want to direct my character in the third person perspective here but I'm mostly an action type of gamer I like uh, like Lords of Shadow um, God of War, Ninja Gaiden, stuff like that but I do like shooting games but more recently I've really had to to get in the mindset of playing them um, okay so contact right here I think that just means that you need to stop running around in a very quick and uh, manner where you're not looking for things too wisely and uh, it, it pretty much just means settle down we have a situation up ahead I think that's what it means so I'm gonna take a couple of guys out with the, with the stealth mechanic here oh you know what happened um I saw one guy in the distance and he whirled around just as I was about to break his neck but I still got the kill and I don't think it was breaking out of the stealth cover system but to me there's nothing wrong with this game I I, I like games and that are it, it doesn't matter if it's a war themed game to me uh, because I've let's see yeah so s situations like that are I don't know it, it's, it's gonna happen from time to time but as you can see, I just shot that guy for, I don't know why I did it, it said detected, and uh, he was spazzing it right there. I suppose if you wanted a really good drinking game, you could, whenever it says detected Dick Benedict, then you could take a drink, you'd, you'd get really shit-faced probably, very quickly, especially watching this guy. And those guys didn't see me, which was good. And now these guys, it looks like these guys have a little bit more HP to them. More body armor, which translates to more HP. So as you can see, I, I, it took it took more shooting f to kill that guy. Some of, some of the other targets in this game have been kind of like paper. And I've, I've just taken them down like one, one or two hits. And it's got to have some kind of a balance in between those two. Otherwise, it's just not enjoyable. Either it's too easy or it's way too difficult and you're wasting too many bullets. So far, I have not had to conserve ammo. I've had plenty of ammo. Um, I haven't been into a situation at, a, at all where I've lacked ammo. So This is a pretty hard section coming up as we're going up this incline here. Um, I didn't die or anything like that. It's just that it's, it's hard and, dare I say, maybe not even possible to see the enemies unless you deploy a sensor grenade up ahead so always stay behind cover and you could when you're in the cover you could peek out of the cover without exposing yourself too much and you could also um, you see the little the augmented reality right there the uh, the circular waypoints you're not committed to going in one direction you could there's more options than what appears on the screen. You just have to move the left analog stick. Or, no, it might be the right analog stick. So as you can see right here, now all these enemies are silhouetted here in, in red. And I can see where they actually are. Whereas before, I could not see anybody anywhere. So I, I, that, that's this evidence is how important the sensor grenades are. So there's a frag grenade. They toss it at me. And, uh... In a previous video, I said that pressing down on the D-pad switches your view, and what that means is that it does um, this camera mm, trick. It's not a trick; it's just the, the the effect of the environment right here. And I I do it right here for magnetic view. I don't know why I really did it. I I guess I was trying to see if I could see enemies through. I think you can, so it's actually really beneficial sometimes. Let's see how this works. I got a melee kill on this guy coming up. This, this things like that, it's very important to have work well in a game like this, especially on the hardest difficulty. 
Because I'm pretty sure you have iframes during that animation. So I deployed another sensor grenade to see where these guys were. And then somewhere over here I pressed down on the D-pad. I know I do. Yeah, so it, it might not be that beneficial in this type of environment, but maybe in others where our visibility is obscured more. Because here it's it's pretty it's pretty okay. A lot of these battles, some of them some of them that is the teammates do a lot take a lot of the load off by killing other foes for you. Um, that doesn't mean to say I, I don't participate in the battles, but sometimes I'm trying really hard to participate in the battles and find enemies, but my other teammates just clean everything up too quickly, and it's kind of irritating sometimes actually. So now we're going into the next section. Okay, at the um, next location, we're gonna just be traversing the environment and there's not going to be any enemies to engage. We're still technically, you know, we're ghosts. We're not supposed to, no one's supposed to know that we're doing anything here. No one's even supposed to know that we are here. So there is a little edit right there because I had to come back to this after having played it for a day and then resuming my start point over here. But you just we're just crawling around over here and traversing the environment. And uh, we are going to run up against some enemies who are killing another person, but we can't intervene. So, so just uh, if you don't know where to go, just look at the little directional circle at the top of the screen. And whenever you're moving in a game like this, you, you just want the numbers to decrease. And I like that. I like linear games a lot. But there's some pretty large maps in this game on the single player. I did find that much. So the guy they're talking about down there, they're just beating up somebody down there. The harsh realities of, you know, life in this country. Oh, that's probably a soldier they... Yep. So you can't even shoot or anything. You just you can't intervene. So now we're now we're just doing some mantling over these brick areas here. Getting cock blocked a couple times by Pepper or Twisting. These guys' names are kind of funny. And 30 30k I mean, that's how much he used to make or something, I don't know. Overlord, can you get a fix on the vehicle's location? Negative, Hunter. We see a couple of structures, but we can't see what's under them. You'll have to do the legwork. Understood. Millions of dollars floating around in space and still can't be just going to see for yourself. So we will have some more confrontations. It's just, like I said, going from point A to point B. Nothing even to note until we get a little bit further up here, right. right over here, I believe. Moving position. And we're going to be doing some stealth killing, I think. Yeah, so we have contact over here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to hopefully pull off these kills here. And I'm a little bit more confident about how to do this now. Uh, normally if there's a guy up on a tower, you should just kill him with suppressive fire. Because it's not like anybody's going to go up there and find his body. But what do I do here? Did I target that guy? I think I... I think I got... Yeah, I got wise to that and, and just figured to myself, no one's going to go up there. So I'm going to target these three guys down here and then command the, the kill shots. So I'm going to wait for everybody to get lined up, and then I'm going to release the L1 button, and then hold down on the R2 button to do the command to shoot these guys. And it works. It works really well. See, once everything's cleared, I held down the R2 button, and then they got killed. What, what I said was done, and it's really nice that way. Um, if you do alert people, over here, you're going to get a truck that comes off from onshore. 
and he's going to have a gun turret, so be very careful of that. In fact, I I think I made it up to pretty far up the beach over to the right, and there was one point where I think I, I just figured that the truck wouldn't show up anymore, so I just started killing people, but sure enough, that truck showed up, so I had to circle around the area again and get on top of that roof and just take him out. So I'm going to do another command here. Issue the order to shoot these two targets. So I'm going to release the L1 button, hold down the R2 button, take those guys out. Well, I didn't take them out. The other teammates did. Reloading. So this is a nice environment. I did turn the brightness up a little bit. I hope it doesn't cause the game to not look too good, but I need to be able to see when I play a game like this. So here I was just verifying that no one was over there, seeing what was up. I, I like I like beaches. I don't often go there, but I wish I could. So, here's another enemy up here, and I think I just shot this guy. Yeah, I switched to... No, this is a suppressive weapon. Let's see what happens here. No, the guy heard. He, the guy must have heard. So now all hell's breaking loose. I need to take this guy down, who I was trying to take down originally. And then I'm turning the camera around because there's the truck. <laughs> there's the truck pulling up, so I need to circle around, but the environment got in my way over here quite a bit. I was just trying to drop down down this hill and it wouldn't even let me. I thought I was trying to go into cover or something or it was saying cover was my only option. But it's it's not... It shouldn't have been an issue because as you saw I just jumped down right there clean and free. Now I'm going up here and making my way. I'm gonna activate the camo but I don't think it much matters when things are going so crazily. I think they have an idea of where you are but I could be wrong about that. I'm not sure how it, exactly it works. But, but, but by, the, by the time I got up here, it was completely wasted, you know, that doing the, the circle around the enemies. But that, the yellow marker up in the sky, that's that's where the, the chopper is. And I guess that's what you'd consider to be the, the boss of this chapter. It's just a chopper who you have to, you have to take it out. I, I think you have to take it out. But I know that when you're... Excuse me, I had to yawn. I know that when you're trying to stealth kill these guys, just make sure the chopper's not any anywhere overhead. I think that the color yellow is means that it's not seeing you. But if it turns orange, you really gotta watch out. And then red, you're definitely gonna have to get behind cover. So I shot that guy in the tower. And originally I just had a lot of problems seeing where the hell everybody was, so I don't know how the guy in the chopper may have seen the, the, the body on the tower. I, that's the only thing I could think of. So I know there's nothing to the right. There is um, a, a fixed gun up on one of the roofs. So we have to deal with that. I think it's manned. It, it must be manned. Because you see the everything starts shaking over here and it's really hard to aim. But... I don't think I remember killing the guy behind the turret. Must have been one of my teammates. And right here I couldn't switch. You can't swap shoulders like this sometimes. It's, it's really weird. I think if you're if you're in cover, you can't swap shoulders. You have to move the left analog stick to actually have the character turn the other direction. And then you'll you'll be able to have the shoulder compensation. Um, I don't like that. There should be a little bit more flexibility. See how it's just really awkward in this situation for me? So, uh, the, the, the fixed machine gun is up up a ways and I, I I don't know maybe it doesn't come with any enemies but if you want to come to the left on from the beach there's a there's like an arcade walkway that you can 
um, breach this area via, and you could do some stealth kills, and, you know, pretty much you can do what you want to in this game, in a situation like this anyway. It says destroy on it, so I do need to destroy that, but I was trying to see what exactly was over here, seeing if any, any, any enemies are hiding. But this doesn't seem to be a kind of a game where enemies hide unless they're hiding behind cover. So what I need to do now is go find that uh, fixed gun and get on that thing. But what I could have done instead was just shoot the the chopper from the ground. It's it works the same, but it's it takes I think it takes a lot more bullets to take it down. And obviously there's a lot more risk of going onto this turret from this location so he has a life bar there and it's an orange so he he is okay so the he left he's not dead yet that's the problem with the machine gun so now we need to retrieve the data which I think is on a tr in the truck so just follow the waypoint marker here go to where the truck is and then we'll breach it right here engage, engage. so go for breach Open press X and then of course the chopper comes back for another round of fighting and if you just want to go behind cover and shoot it from the ground that's fine you could probably go back on the turret, but uh, there's minimal cover up there. So there's there's the uh, the friendly chopper right there, and then from the right will come the the other chopper who wants another few shots at us before we take him down and clear the stage. So I guess this would be the first boss in the game, and. Uh, it's not too challenging, as a, as a first boss shouldn't be, uh, originally anyway. I mean, they should get gradually harder as the game goes along. So right here, I, I know I had a checkpoint, so if I did die, it would be okay. So even though I'm not being particularly accurate here, I am trying to compensate for the shaking of the screen and the rumbling of the controller. And we just seem to take this thing out. And this was a good spot for me to be standing right there because it was shooting at the opposite direction of these enemies, and I almost had to take, almost was taking it out right over here. Just a few more shots, and it'll go down. So just one more shot. There we go. It's dead. In as much as a piece of machinery can be dead. And that's the end of the chapter. We're going to go back to the briefing, and I'll see you guys in chapter or mission 04. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope that this guide's helping you guys out to defeat Elite Difficulty.